Hi, and welcome to the new show. I haven't made a video for quite a while. I could tell a lot of people wanted me to make videos again after sifting through hundreds and hundreds of emails and then finding out they're all Viagra related. My mum said, hey, how about making another video? So here I am, back by popular demand. I'm doing something new this time. I'm going to try this show where I talk about news and stuff. Not in a serious way. You probably won't, won't learn anything. And I may go off on a rant now and again. Like the fact that I have to wear this big, thick, fluffy coat in my house. Because it's so cold. But outside it's so sunny I have to change to shorts and a t-shirt. What the hell's that about? <laughs> More humour like that coming up. I hope I can make a good first impression with this show. Uh, I'm not that good at first impressions normally. A while ago I went to a friend of a friend's house who I didn't really know. Uh, and when they said, how do you take your tea? I answered, anally. Which isn't a good first icebreaker joke, apparently. News to me. Right, so, the first news story was going to be about Afghan President Hamid Karzai talking with the Taliban about a peace treaty. But then I saw another story about boobs, so that's going to be the story. So the story interested me, not only because it had the word boobs in it, but also because there was a man called Jean-Claude in it, which straight away you think of Jean-Claude Van Damme with boobs. At least that's what I thought. There's an owner of a French uh, breast implant facility and uh, apparently he was bailed out of jail for a hundred thousand euros for basically giving these women breast implants that weren't safe. Uh, there are recorded 400,000 women in 65 different countries that have been given these implants. That was one crazy weekend. After he was bailed out, uh, apparently he didn't have anything to say. He was tired and felt unwell. But you know, seeing 400,000 pairs of boobs within a weekend, I think that would get anyone t quite tired. The lawyer, representing one of the women who had these unsafe implants, was reported saying, it's relief. It's come late, but at least it's happened. To which I replied, it's not my fault. I had a bit to drink. It takes longer than usual. But I think we were talking about two separate things then. Apparently the company selling these implants had managed to deceive the safety inspectors for 13 years. I don't quite know how that's done. When they're looking around going, hmm, this material is unsafe to, to implant into women's breasts. You're not using that, are you? No. It's, uh, it's for a big bouncy castle sort of thing we're making. Look, look how wobbly it is. Making a big sort of house of jelly. It's crazy. Every year for 13 years. That's what I would have done at least. But that's the story for today. Tell me your thoughts. Would you think of getting breast implants? If so, how thorough would you check before you got them done? You wouldn't want Jean-Claude doing it. Or another French man with a rather attractive sounding name. I've been Jack Brown, and you've been listening. <laughs>